create and what internal steps involved in while creating the pod so uh, if you look at this diagram you have this api server right api server will request the scheduler to check the availability node based on the resource requirement along with the worker node capacity and other uh, resources but uh, it will identify the availability node suppose if there are two nodes are there worker node one and two so worker node is uh, sufficient it will identify and it will respond back with the requested information to api server so api server uh, which will communicate with the kubelet that is agent which will run on uh, every node in the cluster so it will uh, Again, it will check with the CRI, CRI which will uh, contain a runtime engine with, that is a docker or a rocket containers. So, finally, the uh, CRI will create the pod. Okay. So, once the pod has been created, again the CRI uh, will request the kubelet. So, the pod was created. Uh, you can uh, respond with the res requested information and kubelet, it will communicate with the API server. So, the finally pod has been created and uh, so on so so the api server will request the etc to maintain the pod so this was already created so you can keep uh, all the details with regards to the pod and it will uh, api server will request so this is how the internal steps involved in while creating the pod and uh, i hope this will help you a lot for uh, sk2 purpose and uh, there are uh, some requests coming from the uh, students which they don't understand the uh, programmatic explanations and so I have created this diagram and I uh, have explaining in a short time so I hope this will help, help and uh, uh, upcoming sessions will discuss on the uh, more and details on the scheduling and uh, tens and tolerance and selectors labels and node affinity node selectors and all so this is how uh, We'll move on to the upcoming sessions and uh, hope this will help and uh, if you like video hit one subscribe up and thanks thanks a lot programmatically how to create the pod and i will explain uh, the internal steps in order while creating the pod along with this diagram thank you